गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल क्लियर ह्यू इफ़ यू आर न्यू हियर नमस्ते माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर रक्षिता एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट स्किन केयर वेलनेस एंड मेकअप सो इफ एनी ऑफ दीज इंटरेस्ट यू डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो गाइज इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माई मंथली फेवरेट्स एंड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आई लव यूजिंग लास्ट मंथ सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट मी जस्ट गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू द वीडियो एंड टेल यू एवरी थिंग दैट आई लव लास्ट मंथ All right, guys. So the first thing that I loved using last month was this uh, minimalist Ma- Malik Bond Repair Complex 5% Hair Serum. It has a lot of good ingredients. It looks like I haven't used a lot of it, but trust me, you need a very little amount of this product to use. This is not sponsored, by the way. I know a lot of people are doing sponsored uh, videos on this particular product, but I purchased it myself and I tried it and I loved it so much. You have to just put. this on an hour before washing your hair and you will immediately notice how soft and frizz free your hair gets it worked so well on my hair and i can vouch it would work well on a lot of people's hair because i personally have really fine hair and really frizzy hair that's very hard to manage but with this one it became so much better this particular uh, hair serum has caprylic triglyceride as the first ingredient and then it has coconut oil coconut oil is the one oil that is researched and is known to penetrate into the shaft of your hair a lot of hair oils do not penetrate in the shaft of your hair but coconut oil does and i like that they've used that it also in terms of oil has argan oil in it as well which again is very nourishing for your hair then we have squalene we have malic acid as well i need to research like i need to read more research papers on what exactly malic acid does because i couldn't find a lot but minimalist on their website claims that it repairs the damaged strand they did include a picture like a micro electron microscopy photo of a hair that they use this on and it got uh, better i'll include that picture here i don't know how much um scientific backup there is to that i mean of course it's a electron micrography photo but i still have my own uh, you know reservations about this till i read more research papers but honestly using this product in person i realize this is very good as a serum don't it's not a leave on treatment don't leave it on your hair don't use it post wash this is clearly a pre wash treatment that's supposed to be used for only one hour before you wash your hair and this worked so well for me so i love this one remaining in the hair care category the next thing i loved this month was the Batiste dry shampoo their coconut and exotic tropical variant i love the smell of this this smells has any one of you used um the physicians formula bronzers this smell little coconuty and beachy this is exactly what it smells like it smells so nice coconuty and beachy i personally have really oily and greasy hair like really oily and greasy scalp so for me a dry shampoo is literally a Big, and like a really big blessing and this one works very nice it's not just the fragrance that i like it's the efficacy of this product as well this does initially leave like a whitish powder on your hair that will settle eventually you have to spray this on don't be scared when you see a lot of white powder you comb it through it will settle uh, like in your hair and it works so well it just does what it claims and i loved it The next product that I loved last month was this fragrance by Kaeli. It is their Vanilla 28. It it is a very hyped fragrance from them. And oh lord, it smells so beautiful. I have a bigger bottle of this as well. There are 50 ml versions, but I haven't opened that yet. This has lasted me a good enough while. In a lot of reviews of this particular fragrance, I heard people say that this doesn't stay well on them, but on my body it performs very well. It stayed put for 5 to 6 hours on my body. You can still smell it throughout the day. And the initial smell of this, the initial notes are different. It smells a lot more complex than just vanilla but the dry down is pure vanilla like a vanilla extract and the kind of like when you freshly open a vanilla be- pod and then there's vanilla beans inside that smell that's what it smells like and on my body it just you know after a few hours i sniff it and i'm like okay who's eating chocolate what's what's that dessert like smell who's eating cake and then i remember oh i'm wearing this and this is what i'm smelling that's how yummy this smells so i love this one and if you are a vanilla fragrance lover 
I would recommend this to you. The next thing I absolutely loved is this Plums Niacinamide 5% Face Serum. This is also my empty. I've completely emptied this product out. I loved it so much. It is a very effective, amazing niacinamide serum that gives your skin a very good glow. Plum released their rice water range and it's honestly, I I, I believe it's my favorite range from Plum in terms of skincare. It's that good. It's very dewy, very like gives you a very nice glow. Even their 10% rice water serum is amazing. I particularly like this one, the Niacinamide 5% even more. It's very light and just absorbed instantly and gave me the right benefits that Niacinamide is supposed to give you. So again, big fan, love this one. If you're looking for a nice Niacinamide serum, I would recommend this one. My next monthly favorite was this Dermaco Hyaluronic Sunscreen Stick. I have a full review on this product if you want to see like anything detailed about this. I have a full review. I'll link it down below. But this particular sunscreen was such such a beautiful product to use. Uh, Dermaco just hated out of the park with this one. It doesn't lift off your makeup much. It reapplies effortlessly and I just love this one so much. It has that slight silky matte finish to it but doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel greasy. Just it's amazing. I don't have enough good words to say about this one. So again another monthly favorite. My next favorite is this Fay Beauty lip balm. I created a shorts video that I will link down below about this one. Oh my god I uh, put on four different flavors of this and I have all four. I use all four in rotation. I just have one in my hand which is the soda pop one which is supposed to resemble the smell of uh, you know those soda ice cream pops or the mech floats that you get at, at McDonald's and I love those and this smells so richly of that sparkly vanilla -y smell I just I, I love this one and it's just not only is the smell nice this lip balm is very effective you don't need to keep reapplying it throughout the day you need to reapply it like uh, every five or six hours and it works so well i always have one on me amazing if you're looking for a new lip balm buy this one this also has spf and a good enough spf of 20 i know it's not like really a very good spf but something better than nothing and i love this one so i would recommend it and my last monthly favorite is this Elf's Putty Blush in the shade Caribbean. Uh, I love this one. I am looking for Nika to, you know, come out with more shades of Elf. They don't, uh, they didn't bring in all of the shades of their putty blush. And I'm also waiting for them to release the putty bronzer because this formula is flawless. The blush I'm wearing today is this one. I barely use any product. As you can see that I've barely made a tint and I've like, I've barely made a dent. And I've been using it for so long it has a very rich color it settled down into a perfectly matte finish like a, a cream to powder kind of finish and I love it so much it doesn't move through like a, for a cream blush to last on my skin is a big deal and this one even by the end of the day you will see it right there I love it so much and just I can't say enough good things about this in terms of makeup this one is a product that I've used almost every single day in the last month and still managed to not even put a dent in here and I love it so if you are on the lookout for a new blush I would highly suggest the elf putty blushes I just hope for Nika to bring more shades in this because this product is just chef's kiss so guys this was it for today's video if you like the video don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye